21 is digging deeper tonight into parents who don't pay. Prosecutors and deputies spend a lot of money, a lot of their time and their resources, not on solving and preventing violent crimes, but on collecting child support. In fact, hundreds of millions of dollars in child support is owed to single parents in Northeast Indiana alone. Money that law enforcement officials say you ultimately front some of the bill for. Huntington County Deputy Tim Farthing is hoping to catch two deadbeat parents wanted on warrants for not paying thousands of dollars in child support. The big problem really is, is not arresting them, it's trying to find them. It's a weekly task for the Sheriff's Department. Right, and 35 With a frustrating success rate. You just never know what you're going to get because you can go out with 20 warrants and all you, you can find none home or moved, you know, or you can find three people out of the 20 warrants. First up, Daniel Irvine, wanted out of Wabash County and last reported to owe more than $18,000 in child support. No one answers the door. We check around back and find a woman inside a van. Do you know who lives there? After looking over a mugshot, she thinks she's seen him before. Is he the one staying upstairs? He looks like one of them that goes upstairs. But says he's already left for the day. Would you let us know if he does show up? Next up is Carrie Nunemaker. She's in the hole more than $47,000 for unpaid child support. A second deputy stands by the back of the house to make sure no one tries to run off. But no one's home, and without seeing someone inside, deputies can't do much else but try again later. This is kind of the average child support warrant. No one's home? Correct. Um, likelihood of finding someone home is very slim, usually, or they won't answer the door. So. Does that get frustrating? Yes, it does. Just in 24, no one was home. In Huntington County, the average amount of unpaid child support owed is $7,900 though the highest amount is more than 87 grand. Yeah, I had no idea child support was like that. Huge business, huge business. Sheriff Terry Stoffel says the headache grows tenfold when deadbeats try to leave town. Oftentimes when somebody um, is behind or in the rears in, in their payments, they think that if leaving the state is, is a way to uh, avoid it. That, in turn, makes a lot of work for me because I just pulled a few off the top. We have, uh, here's Atlanta, Georgia, here's Tulsa, Oklahoma, Porta Gorda, Florida, um, Newport, Ritchie, Florida, just all over the place. Uh, and Connecticut. You have to go get all those. I have, we have to go get them, yeah. We have to bring them back and, and bring them in front of a judge. Stoffel says they usually get a few days in jail for missing a court date, and then it's lather, rinse, and repeat. They get released on their own recognizance, and six months later, we're back to Florida again, getting them and bringing them back. And here's where your tax dollars really kick in. We have a line item for just extraditions, and we usually eat that up pretty quick every year. So. And how much is that? Fifteen thousand dollars a year is what Huntington has, and oftentimes we run out of that, and then we're just kind of burdened with. We'll have to send deputies down, fly them down, or drive down, and just go get them when that money's gone. In fact, Stoffel says about nine out of every ten extraditions executed by his deputies are for parents who are not paying child support. We're taxed and, and the taxpayers are paying to run all over the country for mostly child support, felony child support, yeah. And your tax dollars aren't just going towards tracking deadbeats down. If they don't pay up, officials say you get stuck footing the bill. One way or the other, it, it's a burden to the taxpayer, big burden. A burden in the form of low-income assistance programs like food stamps, Medicaid, and welfare. If we don't do this enforcement and get people to pay, all of the, I mean, those kids will fall through the cracks and be back on our welfare rolls and will ultimately cost us more money. Allen County Chief Deputy Prosecutor Michael McAlexander says about 40% of his office is devoted to collecting child support. We collect annually right around $40 million. With between 19 and 23,000 active child support cases to enforce, the office rakes in about 65% of what's actually due every year. It can be frustrating, but we've learned over the years that if you make an order reasonable that a person can meet, 
then it works better. That still leaves the county and single parents with millions of dollars unpaid. If we don't take care of this, it will ultimately cost the taxpayers more money in the long run. The outstanding balance of unpaid child support in Allen County is more than $174 million. More than 5,800 parents owe more than 10 grand, and 33 parents owe more than $100,000 each. Please have thousands and thousands of active warrants just in Allen County, and they just don't, I don't think they have the resources. Steve Ringenberg works in Fort Wayne as a private investigator. He asked us not to show his face because he still works undercover. We asked him to help us track down several parents with the largest outstanding child support balances in Allen County. But either no one answered or they weren't there. It's common for them to move around. Oh, yeah. She knows I have a question mark here. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. It might have been an old address. You're right. Ringenberg says it can take weeks or months to talk to relatives and neighbors or stake out a home to find a deadbeat. Time and resources, Ringenberg says, the county just doesn't have. This uh, plaintiff can't find them, and finally they just give up, and that happens a lot. So what happens if the county can find a parent, but they don't want to pay? The goal isn't necessarily to fill up the jail with this. We'd rather that people cooperate and pay voluntarily, but... If they don't, we will use all the tools in the toolbox. A toolbox, Sheriff Stoffel says, is put to better use elsewhere. If we're using our resources to do this, then we're not doing some of the things that we should we could be doing. They brought them into the world, and they should take care of them until they can take care of themselves. Allen County Prosecutor's Office files about two to three arrest warrants per week for child support alone. And you can check out this full Digging Deeper story again by heading to our website at WPTA21.com or following our social media pages.